Alright, welcome to Zephyrus Zonos. To start, what type of model should we choose? And what are the differences between them? Well, we have the Transformer model and the Hybrid 0.1. On Zephyrus.com, comma, the official text-to-speak site, they mention two models. They explain how, based on the seconds of audio generated, for example, from a 20-second audio clip, I've just generated a 3-second one myself. For a 20-second audio, the Hybrid is 14.3% faster, and for a 60-second audio, the Hybrid is 20% faster. What does this mean? The longer the audio, the faster the hybrid becomes. They don't mention quality specifically, okay? There's just this small section where they discuss the hybrid versus transformer different. You might ask if hybrid's faster and quality's the same, why have both? Well, they don't explain it, okay? Here they explain that basically the hybrid is called hybrid because it uses transformer and also uses a tool from Mamba 2, which is like an architecture that basically allows them to have less weight and give less attention to the blocks so they process faster, okay? Here's a more detailed explanation of the architecture, its specifics, and how it's trained, okay? Which is quite interesting. Basically, they explain that 0.1 models are trained on a simple auto-regression task to predict audio token sequences with text and audio tokens. Tokens, or characters, are calculated from raw voice waves using the DAC autoencoder audio codec. This is a high bitrate autoencoder that gives our model a high-quality ceiling at the cost of a tougher prediction task requiring more tokens generated per second. Well that's obvious isn't it? They explain how it was trained and more. If we're interested we can read it. It's here on cifra.com, the official site and that's the difference between models. Alright, after choosing the model and setting the prompt, we have the language option here. One of the coolest things is that we can choose from a ton of different languages. Each language has its own abbreviation. And that's why you see A, F, A, M, and Arkansas. These are all language abbreviations. For example, EN stands for English. NUS might mean US English or British English. There's even Scottish English. It includes various accents too. There are Spanish options. There's Spanish and Spanish 419 which we'd need to check what it means. We have many abbreviations for lots of different languages. Russian is included too. There are tons of languages available. Make sure your prompt and language code match the language you want, so you have plenty of choices. All right, in the text-to-speech of Sonos, we have a parameter labeled Hs. These are hertz, which relate to audio quality. I'll generate audio, but first I need to turn off emotions. To disable, we click here. Now I'll generate audio. Why don't you answer me right now? It just generated it. It's at 24,000 hertz. I'll lower it to 5,000 and generate again. Why don't you answer me right now? Notice the drop in quality. It sounds canned now. That's what hertz does. The max quality allowed is 24,000 hertz, which is like sound quality. In my opinion, that's low. My view, it's low. It's enough, but it's low. Ideally, it should reach 48,000, you know? So anyway, that's how we can improve the sound quality. All right, boost these 24,000 hertz. And note that in advanced settings, if any box is checked, the model will ignore it. Got it? You see, I've selected emotions, so it ignores my emotion settings here, right? For F max, if it's selected, it'll ignore what you've set, okay? So don't select it, just remove it, all right? And that's how you improve the quality. How can we change the pitch in Ziffer Zoners? For text-to-speech, we have this section here. The higher the pitch, the more high-pitched the voice I've set it to 300, so it'll sound super high. If I lower it to zero, it's not a unitary number. Why aren't you answering me right now? Why aren't you answering me right now? Why aren't you answering me right now? How to modify the speaking rate in Differzone? Well, our AI-generated character will always speak at a constant speed. We can change this using the speaking rate parameter, okay? It shows 15 here. It'd be nice if it explained what 15 means, but basically, speaking rate determines how fast the character speaks. So if I set it to 5 and hit generate, I need to make sure this speaking rate box is unchecked, because if it's checked, the model will ignore it. So I'll uncheck. When I click generate audio, it should create audio where the person speaks slowly, right? Let's see. It's taking a bit longer, sometimes it can hang, but it seems to be generating now. There it is, it seems to have glitched. I'll try again. Set to 5, it glitches again. It's so slow, it's going crazy. There we go. As you can see, the audio took about 5, 7 seconds. Now if I set speaking rate to maximum, it should be much shorter. There it is, see? It says it in just 1 second. So that's how we can modify our character's speaking. Alright. What is the CFG scale? What's this generation parameter? Basically, it's intuitive. The lower it is, the less it follows the prompt, literally. The higher, the more it follows it. What do we mean by prompt in text-to-speech? When generating an image, it's easy to understand. If I ask for a cupcake in Antarctica, if I say, follow the prompt strictly, it'll show a cupcake and Antarctica. But if I say, take it easy, it'll get more creative. But here, we're talking about voice, text, to speak. What does it mean in this context? 
Well, throughout this text to speak, we have various configurations. Obviously, we can adjust condition settings like modifying the pit more or less or adjusting the speaking rate, the speed of speech. We can more or less modify a person's emotion. So, theoretically, the higher it's set, the more it'll respond to it. I've set it to anger now, telling it to follow my emotion. Theoretically, it should now make the audio sound super angry. What's going to happen? By not giving it room for creativity or to connect ideas on its own, and having to work with preset code, not literally, but to help you understand. If you have a straight path, you can't decide to avoid obstacles. Do you get it? If there's a log in the path and I must go straight, the log stays there. But with creativity, I might go around the log, arriving faster or more efficiently. Well, audio works more or less the same way. If I encounter something that makes the sound more saturated or worse, since you haven't given me enough creativity or power to modify it, it's going to stay as it. So we could argue that if I leave it at five to have full control, I hit generate audio and maybe though not necessarily, I'll generate completely saturated audio. In this case, it worked perfectly, but that's not always guaranteed. However, if I set it to one, this time it worked well, sounding angry and all. If I set it to one, it even gives an error. Look, it says it doesn't support scale one. I'll increase it a bit, starting from how much. Okay, so basically this is what the CFG scale does. And now it's crashed. So yeah, don't set it to one. All right, so what does the novel AI unified sample section do? Generally, in theory, when parameters are at zero, they're disabled. There's not much info on this section though, but theoretically, we can choose how many times the AI checks words at a technical level. It's a bit odd, but basically, this first part improves coherence and fluency of result. As it is by default, it's fine. This first section, as you can see, shows us linear. A higher value makes the output less random, confident. A lower value makes random outputs even more random. And quadratic says high value. Basically, we've configured settings for whether we want randomness or not. And quadratic would literally mean squaring the value. In other words, if you want those probabilities to be even more likely, you raise them with quadratic. You shouldn't need to touch quadratic unless you want to increase or decrease probability. That's why it's called quadratic. Then we have legacy sampling, which includes top P, minim K, and minim P. Basically, top P only chooses words within a certain threshold of possibility. K makes the model consider how many options to generate before deciding, and MinMP sets the minimum generations before making a decision. This is super technical stuff, I'm telling you. Theoretically, the default settings work fine as they are, but it's good to explain a bit more about how this works. All right, so how can we modify emotions in our Zibratonos text-to-speech? Well, from here, we can make it sound sadder, happier, or more surprised. Let's try happy and surprised, see what happens. I don't recommend setting everything to zero, okay? By default, I think it's set to 0 0.05. Keep it at 0 0.05 for some randomness. As we said, not zeroing everything. So we'll set it like this, okay? Basically, we need to uncheck this box because as you can see, it says if you check this, it'll ignore the variable, but we want it considered. Let's see what it does. Does Zonos use eSpeak for text-to-speech? Well, it threw in a random question, but more or less, I'm still a bit surprised, but the happiness didn't come through well. Well, it's just a matter of generating. If I keep generating, eventually it'll work out. Does Zonos use eSpeak for text conversation? Now, let's add a bit of anger, shall we? I told him, I don't care, get out of here, okay? I don't care, get out. And I've set it to angry, let's see what happens. I don't care, get out. Now it's in the flow, we could lower the pitch for a deeper sound. Let's generate the audio. I don't care, get out, it sounds robotic. I'll try again. I don't care, get out. That's better. It helped there. I don't care. Get out. Okay, there we go. It's starting to generate better, right? Maybe we should increase the speaking rate. Since we're speaking angrily, faster might be better. Improving the speaking rate could be interesting. We need to consider this because if I set it to angry but super slow, well, let's just say it might sound off, you know? So that's how you can modify the emotions. So... How can we clone a voice using the Zonus Texas pitch cipher? What I recommend is, for example, I don't care, get out. We have this audio clip, which has worked really well. In this case, just a second, I'd like to have a bit more, okay? I'd prefer to have around 20, 30 seconds, all right? We click here to get the audio, then select optional speaker audio for cloning. So what we'll do is upload this audio, okay? And then we'll have a reference for a character, got it? Here it says optional prefix audio to continue from this audio. This audio is empty, okay? I don't even know why it's shown. But to clone the voice, we basically put it here. Now when I tell it to generate, it should theoretically produce the same voice because it's supposedly cloning. Let's see, clearly it's cloning as it's taking much longer. There we have it. So the process of, wow, Max, it's the exact same voice, huh? Look, this is the voice. It's the same voice, huh? Hello, could you leave? Well, you need to consider that the sample I sent him now 
the guy is angry, okay? So it's going to be much easier. It'll be much easier to generate angry audio clips, right, the guy? So let's, uh, as you see, it does it quite well. If I add a question mark, I think it'll do better. Okay, what I'd like to test is, since we're testing, what happens if I set it? If I set it to happy, it should work well. No, see, it's using the angry voice. Right, it's just a one second sample. Since the voice was angry, now the guy speaks angrily and says, you know, it's funny, isn't it? So yeah, that's how you can clone anyone's voice. Any Well, as long as you have the legal rights to clone that voice, please. And that's it. It's that simple. How can we create a consistent character voice in Zebra's donor's text-to-speech? I assume it's similar in other TTS tools, but this one's so customizable it might get tricky. Here are my recommendations. First, don't touch the legacy sampling section, okay? It only increases randomness, and right now, we're aiming for consistency. This section here is the same deal, alright? It's exactly as it says, see? Higher values mean less randomization, which is what we want. As you can see, the values are quite low. So, unless you need to tweak something specific, leave the sampling section alone. Let's take this one as an example. We'll use this hello have a good day sample okay now let's remove the reference voice we were using to clone we'll select the correct language we'll max out the hertz for top quality since we're experimenting without a voice to clone let's set cfgs scale to two for more creativity we can adjust the pitch to make the voice higher or low for the speaking rate as we're doing something calm like hello have a good day we'll use proper punctuation okay gifrasonos reads punctuation well even an exclamation after hello. Hello, have a good day could be a good test phrase, right? It reads commas very well, got it? So if I put a comma between really and good, it'll pause there, okay? Let's try have a really good day and see if it works, all right? This should create a pause between really and good day, for example. Then this box here lets us configure which settings to ignore. It's off now. Set to full happiness, maybe a bit of surprise, okay? Neutral, it's fine, okay? Let's hit generate audio and see what happens, okay? Based on what we've input, we need a higher speaking rate and pitch, right? Hello, I have a really good day. Okay, for some reason it's still using the cloned voice, okay? I'll hit generate audio again. Hello, have a really good day. Okay, I'll raise the pitch more, let's see. Hello, have a really good day. All right, this voice sounds much better. Hello, have a really good day. Well, it's glitched and using my cloned voice, okay? I'll try to debug it. Just realize mid-recording it's tricky. But as you see, this generation's much better, right? Hello, have a really good day. The comma after hello might be too much, you know? The exclamation's enough, it leaves too much space otherwise. Hello, have a really good day. Okay, I'll capitalize hello and see if it reads it right. Hello, have a really good day. Now let's try an angry phrase, shall we? For an angry phrase, I'd like to use have a really bad day. Lower happiness and surprise. Turn on anger, okay? Obviously. Maybe add a bit of sadness or even disgust, right? It's key to increase the speaking rate, isn't it? When angry, you talk fast. So we'd raise the speaking rate here, right? We know what we want. So let's up the CFG scale for control. Have a really bad day. There it is. Have a really bad day. It generated that pretty well. So these are some tips for generating audio.